for your events. More or less cash. It is getting reported by World Sports Betting at times.co.za. Some of the Sundowns nil, young, uh, young Africans nil in the African Cup of uh, CAF Champions League, um, almost the African Cup of Nations. <laughs> a pulsating encounter, very interesting, a thriller, thriller of a game. Uh, we watched two matches. Uh, 90 minutes plus 90 minutes, 9 plus 9 is 18. 180 minutes without any goals. And here I am describing something as a thriller. It's a thriller because um, the last half, if we break this Ooh. down into uh, four different halves, as it were, the first 45, second 45 in Tanzania, the third 45, which is the first yeah. half from tonight, the, the fourth 45 was... It encapsulated all the drama uh, that came with it. There was a goal which was not a goal, which relied on goal line technology. Was it a goal? Was it not a goal? If you say it's a goal, where's your proof that it is a goal? Because when the ball touches the line, when the ball is on the ground, when they freeze it on the ground, not all of it is across the line, but maybe somewhere in that flight it was. That's why you need goal line technology. We can't just rely on our eyes because our eyes can deceive us. Ah, well done to young Africans. Well done. That was a beautiful game of football. Um, you were complicated. Every man behind the ball, pointless for the first three halves, as I mentioned. But in the, the fourth half, you really were substantial as a team. You stayed in the game. Um, should have done better homework, really, with uh, Ronan Williams. Ronan Williams was a weakness in sundowns. I don't mean it in the sense that he was weak. His weakness was that he's been saving penalties throughout this whole period. You should have maybe looked at him and said, okay, this is how we're going to get... When you get to penalties, this is his favorite side. Uh, Nigeria had a variation for him. They had a kryptonite for him. You should have done that. There's no excuse. All of us watched the African Cup of Nations. We didn't see your goalkeeper uh, for Mali saving penalties. So that's the weakness there is that Ronan Williams had too much information out there for scouters to scout him and say, OK, this is how you're going to approach the penalties against him. But you didn't. And that's why you're out. But well done. Good fight. So if you like as a former Middle Sundowns attacking midfield, I've spoken too much. What do you make of the game, sir? Mr. Kewunjan, yes, sir. I'm Bulsa when I'm Bulsu Chastis, Bulsu Chuna, and Bulsa and Makaya. Can you support in Jalai Tiski TV? The bearer of Jalan Chiri Foot. What a second half. Uh, you know, I was asking myself, Uguti, you have time, Mr. Kew, when I was saying, Uguti, at least this team, Bafiga Ranjan, who got the final. Yeah, I remember you asked that. Yeah. And, uh, That's why I'm uh, saying it was pointless for the first first half, second half home. Yeah. First, first half, half, yeah, away. It was so pointless. Because they had a plan. They kept themselves in yeah, the game. Yeah, man. And, you know, their plan, it, it almost worked, uh, Mr. Q. And, whew, you know, ex experience in the game, we are born, uh, Mr. Q. You, you could see Uguti, uh, Okamondi knew Uguti, uh, pound to pound, my players, they can't match. I'm a player of the Sundowns, but... Uh, as a group, as a team, uh, uh, you know, maybe I can get something out of that. And uh, it almost, almost, you know, we... Go on no go, cross the line? No, that's you not Have you changed goal. your mind yet? Uh, no, that's not the goal. Uh, the I first still, time, I've, I've, I was looking at it now, just right now, yeah. um, watching it on SABC, on, on Facebook, SABC Sport put it again. Yeah. And I still am undecided. But I'm sympathetic to Mundo VAR because I know that yeah, the, yeah. you only rely on that moment, Yoguti. You must wait for it. Yes. Once it touches the ground, the then you must decide, Yoguti, you freeze it, and then you decide, Yoguti, did, did all of that ball cross the line? Now, maybe 99% of that ball crossed the line. Unfortunately, maybe the 1% was still remaining. But we don't even know who did it swerve yeah. at some point and yeah. cross the line slightly or not. And that's why it's important for a goal and technology. You're still, you're still, you're still staying on no goal. Yeah, Mr. Kyo, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it, that's not the goal because the rules are saying long the ball and long the whole circumference of the ball must be on the other side of the line. Mm. So, unfortunately... Uh, yeah, the first time I born, I thought it was a goal. Mm. And now uh, I even said, no, it's a goal, no doubt. But when I look at it, I born a good corner, Lana, uh, 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 that's not a goal. And uh, 
you know, it's 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 unfortunate that. Do you, do you it, believe in the possibility that somewhere? So it's not a goal based yes. on le pat le si bona a freeze Yes. Do you do you, do you not do you maintain any possibility or would you? At some point, as it goes down, maybe with the swerving of because the ball must be mover. Yes. It never moves in yes. a straight line. Yes. It, it, even when they, they kick it to the goalkeeper, it can go any direction, right? It, someone could curve it with the outside foot. You could. So, do you believe we go to at some point? You, we don't have evidence of this. Yes. Do yes, you yes. believe we go to at some point? It may have because it does look convincing. Yeah. Good, ama, good ama pause when you pause it. Yes. Before it touches the ground. Yes. You could when you see. pause it, you there is the see. thing. It's, 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 it's convincing. It. It. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Gale, eh, 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 Leo, I can I can say Mina, eh, eh, I can agree with you because my shala pana pezul is also ever. There's no way is also shaya. Yes, so yeah. Is also ever important. Just that good, unfortunately, as I just said, good that ecoline technology has not. Because it would have determined. My shala paya. My isa iya pants. You we are born the way iya ngakona. Good iya soeva. Yes, yeah, swerve to come down, and then uh, you get ANC. Now, if it did yeah. swerve, so but yeah. this is speculation. There's no yes. evidence of this. Yes. Now, if it did swerve, yeah, jungle bagu no one percent or sale on the ground, then it means at some point in that movement, hundred percent of that ball yeah. would have been on the other side. Unfortunately, we don't have evidence for that. There is no camera because the other yeah. camera angle that would have helped is the one. Yes. Then yes. at some point in the air, we would have seen, us. is it over the pole? So that's an interesting one. But yeah. that is nothing that we can solve, Tina Bandubara YouTube, yeah. and talk shit about it. <laughs> it is something that will be solved by goal line technology, which yeah. is in the English Premier League and other leagues, they have it so that it doesn't have to be a decision. The ball, Hawkeye technology, which is the same in cricket and in tennis, where they have got a computer chip in that ball yes. that tracks it to go to, oh, we saw it. And then they can, they, then they can show you a slow motion style as yeah. an animation. Go to, no, it will be there at some yes. point, even yes. if slightly. Yeah, Mr. Gale, unfortunately. Uh, do you agree with me, Gale? I feel like I'm a moment. Do you understand where he's coming from? Yeah, I'm a coach also. I will, uh, I will feel the very same way to say it's a goal. Uh, it's a goal. 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 It's a uh, especially in, in, in that level, you'll want the team to win and progress. And I will say, now myself, you know, you uh, have Lapina of every Sundowns, that's a clean goal. But nevertheless, Mr. Keo, uh, it was not the railing. A decision comes from him alone. It's not, the referee had nothing to do with it. Yeah, because now my mom chela would to be end of wait. And then I, Wama, Wama, Mela. Then they told him, he, he can't say anything. I right? know. Because that action was, you know, very fast to anyone. Even the players themselves. Even so, so here's how VAR works. Yeah. Even if the referee had said it's a goal, Magaiboni live action. Yeah. They were gonna say wait still, yes. and then they were gonna overrule him. But no, yeah. with Aingenang. the same information, they would have said that. Because I mean, they arrived at that decision. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, VAR they've got power. Yeah. They've got power, and uh, they they use their power. And but what I will say to the referee, for me, I think he has he had a good game. Mm. He had a good game. He, he tried to balance, you know, the emotions of the players. You know, my fouls that have been uh, committed by both teams. Alende was one of the players that I thought was supposed to get a red card. <laughs> oh yeah, too many technical fouls. Too many technical fouls. And he's very clever as well. He's, he's Every time smart. they go on a counter, yes, he fouls. He's, he's the one who's there. And you know, I think the referee. They gave him a yellow card Bonnie. after four times. Yes, I think the referee Bonnie Le Marot Norman. This team, every time when they do a break, Lola. Every time they, they do that break, Ula. So, I'm mm. going look at Feedback but. on Sundown's uh, tactics and Rolani as well. I mean, this experience was very important. I think Rolani, the way he started, if you think about the league. Uh, what was he trying to do with Ubonganizungu and Tebukomukwena? I did say it one of these games because these teams don't give them a challenge as a South Africa. Yeah. Those people are nothing but glorified job keepers, all of the coaches. It's, I don't even think most of them were watching tonight to see what could we do 
Orulani got the temptation from a, a Manchester City. Um, he idolizes Upep Guardiola, and I think he doesn't make any secret about that. Uh, as soon as Upep Guardiola started to demand from about John Stones, uh, about Yoskok Vadiol, yeah. uh, about Ruben Diaz, about Nathan Aker to, to, to be more on the center line and forward, um, you would see what he. Or, so, Pep Guardiola's idea about football, and I like this and I, I believe in it too, is that. For as long as we are scoring goals, it doesn't matter that they yes. could score against yes. us because we could score more goals against them. And th the whole point of football is to score against the opposition. Yeah. But Ruben Diaz is still a centre-back. Uh, John Stones, even though you find him on the right-hand channel yes. of that box, mm -hmm. crossing balls and passing yeah. on the final third, he is still a centre-back naturally. Mm -hmm. um, and when they lose the ball, he's going to be expected to run back. He still has four people playing at the back. I think Orulani, there's a temptation to want to follow that model. And we saw it, and I said, I described it as almost driving, a, it's like driving a car with your eyes closed like this. Yeah. Um, the, yeah. When he did it, it was beautiful to see it, but it was ridiculous. I was like, oh, what is it doing? But I thought that he could make a separation between the weaknesses of um, these, in, these um, incompetent teams with DSTV yes. Premiership yes. and understand the difficulty of playing at this competition in CAF Champions League because he played in the AFL, he lost in the semi-final last year in the CAF Champions League. Yeah. You should know that there's a separation here, there's levels to this shit. You could not get away with only playing one centre-back here as he does when he's playing in the DSTV Premiership. What are your takeaways from this tactically? And now, no jiggles are going to be Like, you don't know, Ushalulile is central, is right. All of them are positionally fluid. No, 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 Yes. If the game demands him to be central, he's central, and then yeah. he can go left as well. What What is your takeaway from all of that? You know, Mr. K, uh, one thing is that uh, I'm spoiler uh, 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 is that uh, each and every team that plays against Sanders, they defend. So now he came to a point to say, why should I have four defenders if all these people are behind the ball? You know, so these are the things that uh, is triggering to say, you know what? Uh, I'd rather maybe have one defender and have these uh, two full backs that they can cover, and then when you go forward, they can also help in terms of you know when you when you start movement and attack. Because really, like I said, Mr. Kyogutti, uh, I'm a game. They they also tricky to you, coach. I test that now. Good, how smart are you, coach? Because these guys they were sitting. They were sitting, everyone was sitting behind the ball. And now it forced Orlando to do what? Everyone needs to go. Because what's the point of having four defenders if Mangabe, uh, uh, I've got one strike? So it means I've got three players that are, it's a waste. But counter that, yes. they always had three players up front. Simba. Yes. Sorry, Ianga. Sorry. Ianga. Um, they always had three players up yes, front. Yes. Although I felt that they were just going to get tired because they yeah. had to track back, go back to the center. Yeah. But they maintain uh, the principle of we need three attackers, which is what we preach to South African teams all the time. That you need one on the left, one central, one on the right. So if you say, because I could ask you a question, uh, question so yeah. who was their left back? And you will say Divine Lunga. But who was their left center back? You will still say divine long. Yes. Why would you do that here at this point? Go to the final Champions League. You know, you know, you know. The, the reason, Mister Kyo, is that he, you know, he played with them uh, away and he saw them. We told these guys, oh, he studied them because. But Champions even, League got a final. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, and, he's and it's not won. You haven't won it. Like no, it's, no. it's not three 0 Yeah. You haven't secured the result though. You know the the, the advantage in this. Yes, the are disadvantages uh, when we are playing with uh, 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 three defenders and then they play with three attackers. But the, the advantage is that when you've got more attacking players, meaning chances of the opponents to have more attacking players are very slim. So for him, uh, what he did here was that I saw them, I played with them, uh, these guys, they're not, they're not going to come to us. Uh, I, can, I can have, that's why he was, he had Umshishi, Ribeiro, uh, Lochi, uh, Shalulile, you know, he had about five players that bought a pump bill, and you could see Uguti. He told himself, Uguti, he has it. Uh, I can't have four, and then no, 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 do that. Now, no, no. that was the well, numerical right. advantage. You are right yes. in, the, in what he was thinking, but it, yes. it was wrong altogether because this is a different stage. Yes. Th that was a numerical advantage. Yeah. So, for every advantage, there's a potential 
disadvantage or an opportunity yeah, for a weakness. Yes. Back to Hele. Yeah. And you couldn't tell who's the left wide forward and the right wide forward. So they would, and, and for the first 20 minutes, we couldn't see where Temba Zwane was. Yes. Because what Ribeiro was doing yeah. is what was Temba Zwane's job description yes. was supposed to do. Yes. Because you have too many attacking players and there's no clarity about who's occupying which position. Uh, that was, for me, I think it also confused the players themselves. Because That's what I'm saying. We don't get the, quali the, the same quality as Even Nayo Ribeiro, we only see him when he gets the ball. We don't have a ball in the pocket. And the worst of them all is when you don't see a sniper in the box. I totally tap in. I totally tap in. Because everyone, everyone, everyone is playing. Everyone is playing. Now they also force him to do what? To come in and join the party. And when he comes in and join the party and then he spoils everything because he's not That's a not ball player. Strength, yeah. Yes. He's not a ball player. So I'm worried. I'm very worried when it comes to that. To say, yes, can they have numbers. That's why I said I was going to channel them in this manner. You could see. Uh, let me have on the on, on the left. Let me have Uribeiro on the right. Let me have Shaluli Lapana sitting. Let me have Ulo Duzana la um la behind. Because one thing for sure, no mudiba la Babela. Then you're gonna have that triangle la Pana Pambil. Where now it's balanced. Your game is balanced because when you've got to launch, you've got mudiba. You've got Ulo Duzana. You've got um You've got Uribeiro. That you've got the triangle. You've got the triangle. Yeah. So it means now. You, you've got chances of good These two Mshishi no Mudiba, they can even take a shot. Right. But now, if you can look at the game, Gamudiba and myself, he was not the Mudiba. Oh, yeah, like yeah be, be ineffective. Yes. It's, why? It's because of that, that, that those yeah, pockets, yeah. Lapana, Aweko. Because everyone's on crowded. Of, on top of being occupied by Sundowns players, there's a Simon as was called. Yes, so now. He sorry, can, Jesus, I keep on saying uh, uh, I'm so younger. sorry. Yeah, yes, because yes. they don't like each other, those teams. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize to the people <laughs> of Tanzania. <laughs> so that, that was the problem for me. Uh, if Urulani will continue like this, uh, he's not going to get goals. Mm. Because now they can't even play behind the defense. Mm. Uh, try to get to Shaluli Lapana because now everyone needs to play. Uh, there's no youth with Lapana to stretch I'm a full backs because if you want to crack them, one, have width. So that you, you know that that left peg needs to go there. That right peg needs to go there. Right. Then you can have those pockets. But yeah, well done to them. Well done to... Do you, do, you, do, do you agree with me, just before I let you go, so do yeah. you agree with me with the assertion that I have? Would you, number one, it's a disadvantage with Uron. Uron when is good on penalties. Yeah. That's not a disadvantage. Yeah. Good, good, good penalties. Yes. But he effectively dives one way or another. Like, he chooses a side and you are a saver. Amanya, Amanya, Yangena. Most of the time, we'll save two, and then three will go in. Yeah. Do you do, do you see where I'm going with this idea? You they should have done better homework. Watch, I because I my thinking is that because oh, there's this book here, this red book. Yeah. Let me just waste people's time further. So, <laughs> When I was a kid, I read I read this book when I was a teenager. Yeah. Um. So my team, Chelsea, for example. Yes. One of the chapters it talks about. Yeah, the 2008 UEFA Champions League. Yes. So, when a scientist, an economist, but ring on the chairs, but la la la, Susan Pegela ama video, gafanda sa, women united. Yes. In the event that this go, this game goes to penalties. Yeah. He coach here to go to Chelsea was Avram Grant. Yeah. Um, he listens to the economists. By Amchelugu to Fandasa, his weakness is that he's very tall and he's very good diving to his right hand side. Yeah. And the, anyone, he, and, and in those penalty kicks, yeah. he dives right hand side. Yeah. Most of those penalties. Yes. Um, the match ends 2 2, we go to penalties. Everyone execute Mwe plan. He actually says, the economist, Umaguya u Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. A Catholic baller for him in Manchester United. Yes. wana Peter Chia Guguti, if he stutters. Yeah. Kushuguti is going to choose the right hand side. Uh -huh. If Uhamba straight is going to choose the left hand side. Because oh, there's, yeah. there's been yes. tens and twenties yes. penalty videos yes. that they've seen. Yes. Cristiano Ronaldo starters. Yeah. 
then they know. Then really um, cool. um, yeah. check. Yeah. Don't move if you, if it starts. Don't yeah. move. Yeah. And if you don't move, it's gonna go to your right. And it goes to his right. But he have nyoga yepes with the ball. And he missed it. Right. So everything went right. Kula ma penalty. That's why I'm so passionate about penalties because it's a game theory. Yeah. I've read too much about it. And there's information about it. I know science. Nje, you've yeah. you've no abo ni la ma penalty. When you face them. People have bad habits. I'm a petting by our keeper. They they don't change their bad yes. habits. Yes. In the end, when Nicholas Anelka we are saying about Obona Ufanda Sawuti, we are going penalty. I'm Lile Gule Cornerly. Yeah. He ended up change. switching. When he switches, we right. lose. Yeah. Ucho Antieri kicks it, but he slips and then he misses. Yeah. But Ufanda Saw he would have missed that penalty. So ultimately. Fuck, I've actually wasted a lot of people's times. But I think <laughs> yeah. um let net data. I think this is an interesting one. Ultimately, we lose the UEFA Champions League, and I was yeah. 18 at the time as yeah. a Chelsea, and we're crying because we lose to Manchester United. Yes. Now, a penalty is not just a penalty. It's not Ubudom, Boguti, Siakatela. Yeah, no, no. The Champions League has a lot of money in it. You have to spend time researching penalties. Yes. Why couldn't they research Uronwen? Bamboni in Nigeria. Nigeria has a specific plan of variating their penalties, but also using the middle as an option. You know, Mr. K, uh, I hope I hope they do have a, you know, some analysis team. Lapana uh, Iyanga, because for me, my Lapana penalty already, already. That, that's, these are the things I always say, Mr. K. When you go and play against a team, you plan. You plan out okay, we'll get to the second half, see Ganji, see my penalty. But for my penalty, this is what is gonna happen. Uh, my daughter, my penalty, let's put a high to go. And let's not go go right, let's go to his left. Yeah. That's th- th- these are the things that uh, 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 coaches I would say na me me na me na I I I I look. That's why I know Gushi get me now, Mr. K if I know Guti an attacking player. No win. Uguti, this player is the right footer. Why do you go go right there? Okay? These are the things. Uh, 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 I mean, I, I watch in details, and I will tell you, Uguti, no, 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 it's it's there for the taking. It you dives know, left or right. It's there for the taking. Uguti, uh, oh, Simbolele. Oh, Centrally, he oh. doesn't just sit there and not dive. No, no. That's his weakness, yeah. is that he just dives yes. left or right. He, he, so he, he, he has to, he guesses right. Out of five, he's going to guess right one or two times. I think maybe our players or maybe the coach and, and the analysis team, they need to be sure in terms of giving the message. Because for me, uh, they just gave it his sundowns easily because even now, 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 they were just here, mm. yes, they were not they were just far here. From they were him. not far, like look at how sundowns they scored their penalties, yeah, like and they make sure, and then the top corner, and then the Miami, Miami top corner, they make sure that even if you dive the right way, and one of them, the goalkeeper dived the right way, actually, yes, but, but he can't get there, yes, you need wings to get there. This, this is what I'm talking about, Uguti. No, Roy, they were supposed to do that, but unfortunately, yeah, Mr. So. Yeah, Mr. K, well done to uh, Gabu Yelo, and uh, hope he, he Roland will take the lessons from from this game to say, now you go to a semi final, you need to think in terms of playing with that defense. All right, there you go, uh, there you go. Uh, thank you to everyone who's still here in this video. You should have left a long time ago actually <laughs> to save your data. At least you got the gist of what we were talking about. Anyways, yeah. thank you for people who stayed up, uh, and thank you to the people of Tanzania as well. We made friends along yeah. the way and enemies, of course. Um, our style is not one that has a lot of friends. Actually, we say things as they are. Uh, I'm sure some of you would have known. And uh, the language that you were hearing as well was a language called Isizulu. We we're mixing it in between yeah. um, the English, the broken English that we speak. Um, it's, there's a relationship between it and Swahili as well, because both of the Mangoni languages. Um, yeah, come back again next year if we meet you again, Tanzania, um, with our South African teams. We hope Pirates or whoever gets to this point as well, so that we have two South African teams yeah. at this point. Um, and we hope to make like friends them, along like the way. Them. In Jian Jian yes, <laughs> yeah, well done. Like 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 yeah, you, Tanzania. Yes, yes, uh, you had yes, two teams. You had yes. your two arch enemies, uh, Young and Simba, at this point. The problem is that this seems to be like the point that you cannot go beyond. But yeah. the more you play Champions League, though, the more you yeah. learn. And just like in Sundowns, there was a, str- a string of Amar quarterfinal losses. Quarterfinal, quarterfinal. They just kept on getting Al-Akhri under Upizo Musimane. Yeah. Quarterfinal, quarterfinal, quarterfinal. Yeah. And then 
uh, Rulani Mukwena just with arrogance was like, fuck it, even if we get Al Akhli, we'll just outplay them. Yeah. They, they don't care now if they get Al Akhli, they will just outplay them. Um, so yeah, Naniga is um, in Tanzania. You will get to this point where you get two teams um, going to the semi or even the final. That would be the dream yeah. final at the Benjamin Kappa Stadium. It is good to be times. Also, thank you for watching us.